We are back on halftime now to our Bob Pisani with today's ETF Edge. Bob. Thanks, Frank. No matter how you slice it, any ETF with the name artificial intelligence is outperforming everything this year, whether it's index-based or actively managed, market cap, equal weight, it doesn't matter. With the S&P up 19%, four ETFs that invest in artificial intelligence themes are up anywhere from 30% to 46 percent. But is there enough for investors to invest in, aside from those few tech names you all know about? Let's talk with Rich Lee. He's the head of program trading, ETF trading and execution strategy over at Baird. Rich, these AI ETFs have a lot of familiar names in them. I see NVIDIA, I see Meta, I see Salesforce, I see Microsoft. But there are attempts to get broader coverage out there. What, what else is available to investors who want to invest in AI using ETFs sure, right now? absolutely. Thanks for having me, Bob. Uh, if you think about these names, obviously the household names that we commonly associate with uh, with AI. However, if you look at these ETFs, if you look at AIQ, which is a cap-weighted index, and you look at WTI or iRobo, which is equal-weighted index, there's anywhere between 86 to in excess of 150 stocks in each of these ETFs. So there is a broader exposure to names that are effectively in the AI space. Um, what's interesting about that, though, is there also, there's also global exposure. So a couple of things. If you want market cap weighted uh, exposure, high stock concentrations, similar to SPYs, or you can move to something like RSP, which is equal weight, same thing with WTAI and iRobo. Yeah, the important thing is IRBO, those other ones, they have over 100 names in them. It's not, right. you're not just owning Microsoft. So here's the problem I have for ETF investors. Uh, we had other hot topics, we had cannabis, we had crypto. Uh, so the current choices are narrower than most want to believe in. So some, some are arguing the AI revolution should be broadening out and investors are going to have wider choices. Dan Ives has been very big about this. What other tech companies for the moment might benefit from tech? Sure. Maybe more than just four names. Absolutely. So we're definitely in the early innings of the AI revolution and names you're going to see uh, start to emerge in the space are things like Snowflake, which is looking at data warehousing for AI, or things like Oracle, which is partnering with NVIDIA for, for, for their cloud databases. Yeah, Mongo, MongoDB, DB. we talked about IBM, you brought up Meta and, and stuff before. This, this AI revolution uh, might affect a lot more than tech companies, and this intrigues me a lot. Julian Emanuel, our friend over at Evercore ISI, was out with a note over the weekend saying, you really should look at industrial companies like uh, Eaton and Ingersoll Rand that are involved in industrial automation, which is rife for disruption using AI right now. And we've seen these stocks move. That's right. And you wouldn't commonly associate industrial stocks with AI, but definitely as it starts to take hold in other industries, we're going to start to see productivity gains in it, especially Eaton and Ingersoll Rand, which are looking at automation, productivity gains, and, and smart devices. We'll start to see potentially AI play a role in that going forward. Yeah, and those stocks are up 30 percent this year. So it, it, smart investors have already caught on. It's about industrial automation uh, in that particular space. Okay, we're going to have much more coming up on ETF Edge at 1.10 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to dig deeper into broader opportunities in the AI space using exchange-traded funds. Rich will be joined by Todd Rosenbluth. He's the head of research at Vetify. ETFedge.cnbc.com. Frank, back to you.